Mysterious seismic waves have been pulsing across Oklahoma. It all started when a wave swept across Oklahoma June 27, just before 11, 11 a.m. local time. It buzzed one seismometer after the other, and it seemed to ping pong hundreds of miles across the state. This wave didn't just breeze by, it pulsated like a geological heartbeat for a good 10 minutes. The mysterious waves dubbed the anomaly. They were pulsing across Oklahoma. Jan uh, the June 24, 11 a.m. seismometers, the wave pulsing through the ground like a heartbeat for 10 minutes across the state, setting off 52 different seismometers, geologists looking at the seismographic data in the state dating back as far as March and found similar other anomalous waves. So that was not the only one. Throughout the summer, they continued to pick up these mysterious seismological waves. They were rippling through the state of Oklahoma, some lasting as long as not 10 minutes, but even 20 minutes. The waves had all had something in common. They all happened in the morning, but never occurred on a Sunday. How is that? Well, maybe there was something working during the week and the people were off on the Sunday. What can we think? After a long search, geologists traced the origin of the waves back to the McAllister Army Ammunition Plant. In a lot of cases, that would be the end of the story. But according to Joshua Carmichael of Los Alamos National Laboratory, there's still a lot of strange unknowns about the mysterious waves the geologists have named the anomaly. Andrew Teal, colleagues of Oklahoma Geological Survey, spent over a month trying to track down the origins of this anomalous wave. This is a, uh, um, the uh, article from Mystery Universe, Mysterious Universe. During their investigation, the waves became more and more frequent. The public started to notice. According to Sarah Terry Cobo, the spokesperson for the Oklahoma Corporation Commission, which manages the state's public utilities. The commission started receiving calls, of course, from concerned customers. Some of the residents were able to specify, I can tell this feels different, it sounds different than some of the earthquakes that we felt. It's been very perplexing to us to try to wrap our heads around it. Eventually, the team traced the source of the waves and they trace it back to the McAllister Army Ammunition Plant. The spokesperson for the plant confirmed that they, depot, they dispose of old ammunition by blowing it up every morning, except for Sundays, with 20-second pulses between each det detonation. So is that the mystery of it? Is that what's causing all these earthquakes for 10, 20 minutes? Not really, they say. Geologists have no idea why the waves from seemingly small explosions were picked up by seismometers across the whole state. Some geologists think that the seismometers were simply picking up the sound waves from the explosions. The anomalies move slower than normal seismological waves at 900 miles an hour, which is closer to the speed of sound. The speed of sound goes about 1,200 miles an hour. Although that's faster, of course. That's faster than these um, anomalies, uh, 900 miles an hour earthquakes. Explosions carry a wide range of acoustic frequencies, including those outside the range of human hearing. The lowest of the frequencies called infrasound, they can behave in odd ways. Infrasound can shoot straight up into the atmosphere, where it's bouncing back down to Earth by atmospheric layers of different temperatures. When the infrasound bounces back down, it does so in concentric circles. Sometimes infrasound waves are powerful enough to shake the earth, and seismometers are very sensitive. Andrew Thiel explains, We even try to install stations away from trees, where the leaves and the branches might sway in the wind, producing movement in the tree's roots, which could contribute noise to the sensor. That's how sensitive some of these seismom seismometers are. So, mystery solved? Not yet. Joshua Carmichael found that the rolling motion of the waves pointed to a surface seismic wave. 
albeit very slow one. Previous studies, though, of the explosions found that the surface seismic waves and the acoustic wave produced by explosions sometimes pair up with one another, exchanging energy. This makes the acoustic wave faster and the seismic wave slower. Carmichael says infrasound from the sky could further complicate the matter. He says, nature is conspiring to make the signals travel in such a way that we can't tell whether they're acoustic or they're seismic. So not everyone agrees, and still no one has a rock-solid explanation for these mysterious waves. But Bar Carmichael says he's uh, excited to dig deeper. So this still remains a mystery. What is causing this anomaly in Oklahoma with these mysterious seismic waves? If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.